Uh, waiting for feedback. I think this is going to be a very short stream. I'm going to bed. Whatever we need to see. Yes, our stream is starting. I just want to have some feedback. Is this working? Uh, it's working good. So, uh, this is the MSI Trident uh, B906 motherboard we were working on uh, the other day. And I think I might have this thing figured out now. So, I've been putting bait. Ah, two hours of work into this uh, again tonight, off air because it's boring work. Uh, so, uh, I think I've found an issue, and the issue is if she might be able to spot it, uh, that capacitor there. So, this used to be uh, this little SMD jobby, uh, which uh, heating this thing, just putting the soldering iron on top of it uh, would cause the board to boot uh, every time basically. Uh, I turned on the power and heat of a cap and the board uh, would start up just fine. So uh, I replaced that since with a used cap of a, a donor board. Thank you old IBM piece of trash for that one and I think uh, the board should now work just fine uh, as far as the capacitor is concerned. However, if you watched the previous stream, you're going to know I ruined the BIOS flash memory for this by using uh, a seemingly dodgy CH341 a USB programmer, which uh, seems to be having some issues and is <coughs> not giving me uh, accurate reading results, uh, causing me to if, uh, incorrectly uh, diagnose bad flash. So I'm currently programming uh, a new flash chip using that particular programmer. Uh, it's a bit halfway done. So uh, what, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, take the flash out. It might be correctly programmed. It might not be. Uh, put it on the board uh, and see if we can get this thing booting. If we can get this thing booting, I've got a USB key with a working uh, new flash update for it and uh, then if we can get that in I think we're going to be fine. Uh, so just uh, for a bit of a proof of concept uh, I've now got the board uh, dead and uh, it is cold as you can see 18C room temp. Uh, so if my theory stands true and this capacitor was a big part of a problem it should now boot every time so we'll just turn on the power and uh, uh, we'll flick this power switch in a moment. So uh, the, the capacitor is uh, a one volt rail. I noticed with the other cap uh, it would be zero volts until I heated it. If we measure it now with the board just powered we've got 1.0061 volts there. So that rail is alive. So let's uh, just uh, poke the power on pins and we should get fan spin. There we go, like a dream. Uh, so, I think uh, as long as we get a good flash chip on there, uh, this board should be uh, in good working order once again. Uh, so we're just waiting for the flash to finish flashing. It's about 75% done. I can't verify it on the program since it doesn't work right. And uh, let's just give you guys the abyss and we've got there we go that's a programmer for you falling down into the abyss bit of an angle this time so 78 percent done there uh, uh let's see what chat's got to say evil caps uh, so it was a cap yes it was a capacitor this time around uh in fact while we are programming this let's just uh, go ahead and uh, desolder the old flash because right now we've got a Flash, which is incorrectly programmed, definitely, uh, and uh, that's obviously not going to work at all. So we'll just uh, get rid of that. Prepare to solder the new one in. Disconnect the CMOS battery just in case, and uh, get this over with. I'm heating off a horrible hot air station, which is wrapped in random wiring. Ah, this has been a sad story. If I hadn't incorrectly diagnosed this as a failed flash, uh, this would be done by now. 
it would be up and running. But alas, I was uh, too horny to just go, oh yeah, it's for flash since it reacts to heat around the flash area. Uh, but uh, I do have a bit of an excuse since the capacity in question is bare and the flash is bare. And I just wave the hot air gun like so and made boot and uh, just blowing hot air around there. Uh, it took very, very little heat to get that capacitor into a working state. So I want to make sure the power is actually off. Power is actually off. Let's get rid of this flash in a flash. Uh, Preheat the board, yada yada yada. We don't want to reflow the north bridge there. The chips are that would be bad. That would make Lewis Rossman angry with me. Oh, fully of time, the surface mount components there, which we don't want to rip off, so I'll just grab this guy, like so. So the issue I've been having with the, the CH341 programmer is that it will program chips, but it won't read them correctly. It will just add random garbled data into the stuff you get out. Uh, making them uh, pretty, pretty much useless because you can't know uh, if what you programmed into your chip is correct. Well, clean the pants up like so. I think uh, the chip is done. All operation completed. Uh, exit of a program. We can't verify anyway. So let's just. Uh, Take a chip, get it off of there. There you go. I'm not going to be keeping up over chat during this because I'm in a hurry to go to bed because I am incredibly tired and in an awful mood. I just want this. Oh, fuck's sake! I just want this to be my little bundle of joy. At the end of a day. At the end of a horrible, horrible day. So uh, if you come. There we go. We don't want to heat these too much because well, flash chips don't like heat. And back onto the motherboard we go. Let's get a camera angle on there. That's perfect. You go on there. Ah, oh, no, you don't because you're full of solder. So we need to clean this up for a sec. There we go. Clean legs. So again, there's a decent chance uh, this firmware is entirely corrupt and uh, won't work. But it's worth a shot. If we can just get this machine uh, and get enough order to actually boot, I'm happy. But I think, sadly, that might not be the case. But it's worth a shot. Really, the, I am annoyed that the programmer failed me because that also means that uh, since a programmer failed during read operations, uh, I don't have a good backup of the uh, flash. I can't restore to backup, so I'm gonna have to figure something out, which we won't do tonight. I just want to see if this works. That looks good. Uh, let's just double check the solder joints, make sure we have no horrible shorts, haven't destroyed any nearby SMD components. Uh, it's a bit coarse, but it's fine. So let's see, moment of truth. Oh, this, this camera. There's something wrong with this camera.
do we have audio? We've got audio. Good. Can't believe this. 800 euro on this brand new camera. Some failure. Probably still have warranty on it. So that's cool down enough for me. Let's reconnect the free volt to lithium cell and pair this thing on and see what it does. Uh, I'm giving it a 30% uh, chance of working. So it's powered on, it's uh, drawing the 2 3 watts from the grid it usually does, and flick this fan spin, and it usually takes about 10 seconds or so for it to actually get a picture of a monitor if it's going to work. So we need to be somewhat patient here. Uh, if it doesn't work, it turns off after a while. So, yeah, I think this is going to be a failure. Yeah, there we go. It turned off. Let's just see if it'll power on again. It does power on again, so the capacitor replacement to repair is working, but uh, we've got corrupt flash memory since I don't have a good backup to restore to, so I'm going to have to keep working on that. Uh, but at least we now have a board which pairs on every time. So let's just uh, have a quick look at the chat and uh, and end the stream. Uh, if only that streamer from yesterday listened to this chat, indeed. If you're flashing those kinds of chip, I recommend using a Pi or something. Still works in circuit for some stuff. Yeah, I'm not that nerdy. Uh, glad you didn't give up. I'm glad too. You sounded a bit down on the previous stream. I still am down because this is annoying. Missed anything? Yes, everything. Uh, that's what I did with my MacBook Pro. Just soldered leads to the chip in circuit and plugged it into my Pi and flashed it. They do make chip clips for them too. Indeed they do. Uh, yeah, whatever. This is done. I'm going to bed. Goodbye. We tried. Have a good night.